each night I wake up a little bit stressed and then remember where I am and think, oh no, I've done it. It's, <laughs> it's in the bag. Yeah, relieved. What's up? Welcome back to Dose. Today we are hanging out with the man of the hour, Josh Sheehan. Just created first triple backflip on a motorbike. What is up, homie? Thank you. Great to be here. Yeah, pretty stoked still. The first time that you said to yourself, I'm going to pull this trick off. Like, how long ago was that? How much work had to go into this? Well, it was late 2013 when I first came to Travis's house. And it was, at that point, it wasn't, I'm going to do this. It was more an experimentation to see if it was possible and to see how well we'd go. And at that point, it was like a this giant ramp facing into this airbag and it was rock, paper, scissors for who went first. And unfortunately, I lost. I didn't go too fast, but yeah, there was just a bit of playing around and we were just, yeah, I couldn't get close to it that day. Uh, we had to come back later on with some new ramp designs and we came back and had about eight different ramp changes and realised we'd got a setup that was that was possible then to do a triple off. So after that, it got real and had to come back a few more times before the end of the year to to master it and to you know try and get it down pat. Crazy. What percentage of it would you say is the ramp and what percentage is it you doing what you do? I mean, I, I have to do double flips quite often and I guess I'm the only one at the moment that's doing the double flip still. So that's helping a lot with, you know, I kind of need to be strong and um, in decent shape to, to pull the double flip around and to even land it. At the same time, it, it took a long time to get this ramp right. So. I, to me, it feels like it's mostly the ramp, but then I guess you know, there's no one else that that was able to get the triple around. So maybe it is partly my body as well. When you when you first get airborne, you know, on this particular trick, at that moment, are you putting that much more thought into what you're doing, or are you almost just sort of like letting go and letting physics yeah. take over? Yeah, on on the takeoff, it's <laughs> on the takeoff. There's nothing else in my mind. It's purely, I get my speed right on the ramp. It's full throttle up the ramp. And then at the top of the ramp, there's a, a certain point where the bike's full, the suspension is fully compressed and I have to get the timing right and lean right off the back, try and get my legs, arms straight to get them, you know, the maximum spin I can right off the start. Those first two rotations happen pretty quick. And then I'm just 100% yeah, focused on getting the rotation. And that's not until I've done two rotations, I feel like I've got the height and I lean back into the third rotation and that's when I can kind of start thinking about the landing. So It's crazy to think that you're actually like mentally focused through that entire you know, third revolution. It's amazing what a bit of adre adrenaline does. I think it feels like time slows down. This particular time that you hit it, did you, did you know you nailed it? To me, I, I tried to just tell myself that nothing had changed, that you know, it was still, still just a landing and I just had to do the same as I'd done each day before that. So. You know, of, of course it plays in your mind and it's scary and daunting, but you just kind of have to f try and block it out and think, you know, you've done it before, you can do it again. Do you think these are going to get easy for you now? <laughs> uh, no, a double flip doesn't get that easy, so a triple flip I don't think could ever get easy. Whether I do it again is <laughs> a question on its own. Okay, okay, so then I guess my final question is, you know, what do you do to top that? Because you got to top it somehow, right? <clears throat> I, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. We've been talking about that. We don't know what's possible now. We can just play around with different ramps and you know, there's special ramps with jigs on them that throw you into front flips and the, we can do, or, you know, Travis is trying, say, backflip with twists and 720s and things like that. So we just have to keep playing around and see what's possible. Absolutely. I guess the only way to find out is to stay tuned to Nitro Circus. Josh, thanks a lot, man. Congratulations. Thanks for having me. Hell yeah. Peace. Those.